know I'm about to go in Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back So they're really not with it Tell me where you're from, where you stay Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay Peace on the right If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market Head over to buymaddencoins.com They guarantee a 5 minute delivery on all purchases And offer 24-7 customer support Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody in today's video we are starting our defensive ebook series it's gonna be three parts so this is the first of three mainly I've been focusing on offensive tips but I have been getting a lot of comments saying that you guys are struggling with defense and you want some more defensive tips so hopefully this helps you guys out in today's video we're gonna be starting off looking at the defensive formation 3-4 odd if you guys want to see me use the defense I'm going over in this video live and you guys want to ask any questions about the defense I will be streaming live weekend league right after this video is live so that's going to be at https colon backslash backslash www.twitch.tv slash mazomatic it's the same as my fucking youtube it's the same name it's the same so i'll leave that link in the comment section if you guys want to finish watching this video then head on over to the live stream i'll fucking see you there baby as always before we get into the content we're gonna go over the best and the worst comments of the day the best comment of the day comes from it's wolf who said i really thought this was going to be the defensive ebook on my last video well Wolf, here we are, baby. This is the defensive ebook. And the worst comment of the day comes from Swine Flu, who said, I see your new channel has two subscribers. Glad to see both your dads supporting your work. That is so funny. Getting into the video, you guys, I'm going to be using the Green Bay Packers on defense because this is the Green Bay Packers defensive ebook. So every formation I'm going to go over in this ebook is in the Green Bay Packers defensive playbook. OK, so the formation we're going over today, like I said, three, four odd. This one is actually in about 50 percent of all playbooks. So even if you're not in Green Bay Packers, chances are your playbook is going to have three, four odds. So this is going to be kind of a universal video, but it's going to fit in with the rest of my ebook. Getting into personnel, let's talk about what a three, four actually is. A 3-4 means there's three down linemen, so your right end, D-tackle, and left end are in the middle, and then you have four linebackers, and because of this, your two outside linebackers, we're looking at Preston Smith and Zadaria Smith here, a majority of the time are going to be rushing the quarterback, so in terms of personnel, your outside linebackers, you want pass rushing linebackers, these are guys like Vaughn Miller, Lawrence Taylor, Kevin Green, uh, Khalil Mack, all those guys who are going to be able to get after the quarterback are who you want at these outside linebacker positions. Now, even more important than that, in my opinion, is going to be your safeties, okay? So, both of my safeties, I like to have as activated X factors. I like to put Enforcer, Lurker, and Zoned Out on them. Obviously, if they can get more abilities or better abilities, go for it. For instance, Universal Coverage is better than, than Zoned Out. Uh, universal Coverage is a mixture of Man Up and Zoned Out. So, if you can get Universal Coverage on your safeties, go for it. But at a minimum, I like to have Lurker, Zoned Out, and Enforcer with high hit power and high speed okay so that's what I look for as my safeties I keep them activated as two of my X factors and because of how aggressively I play in the 3-4 it's really important that these guys have those abilities because I'm gonna be asking a lot out of them so again to reiterate in terms of personnel you want your outside linebackers to be pass rushing linebackers and you want two activated safeties with high speed high hit power and the abilities you want on them at a minimum are enforcer lurker and zoned out for your audibles you're going to want cover four drop show two pinch dog two press edge blitz one and cover three cloud the plays i run almost every time are going to be either cover four drop show two or pinch dog two press i don't really run edge blitz or cover three cloud as much those are just more if i'm trying to switch it up or i want run d so i'm going to go over these plays and show you what they are for their play arts so cover four drop show two is at the top right there i'm sure all you guys know what that play is um pinch dog two press is at the bottom that's what the play art looks like um, Edge Blitz 1 is right there in the middle. I've already made an entire video on this, so I'm not going to go over that play as much. And then the last play is Cover 3 Cloud. If we can find it, it is right there at the bottom. That is what a Cover 3 Cloud looks like. Now, there are some situations where 3-4 odd is very effective and some situations where 3-4 odd is very weak. So, the situations I like to use 3-4 odd in are anytime the offense is in a compressed shotgun set, which I'll go over on what that specifically is later, uh, or anytime they're under center. The reason for that is because when they're under 
center, they have a threat of running the ball, and 3-4 odd being a heavy formation is good against the run. So that those are the situations I'm going to use 3-4 odd. Anytime they're in a shotgun set or any type of set that is going to spread out your defense, so any type of spread look, or if they're under center and they have like four wide receivers out there, and they're spread pretty evenly across the field, 3-4 uh, odd is going to be really weak because your linebackers are not really good in that much space. Now I'm going to go over some examples of what formations 3-4 odd would be good against and what formations 3-4 odd would be bad against. The first First one we're looking at is gun trips tight end this is primarily a passing set you can see the wide receivers are very spread out to the left and this is something that I think 3-4 odd would struggle against I would not recommend running 3-4 odd against a set like gun trips tight end you might want to switch into a lighter dime or a nickel package against a formation like this now when we look at a formation like gun tight flex this is what I meant when I said a shotgun compressed set this is something that I think 3-4 odd would be very good against that is because as you see the receivers are very close to the center they're brought in really tight and because of this the linebackers don't have to worry about covering that much space so uh, this is a formation I think 3-4 odd would be great against so to start off the defenses I'm gonna be going over how to stop QB blast offenses and Wildcats so we're gonna be showing the defense against Wildcat trips over this is probably the most popular Wildcat right now and this defense is universal so for any QB run offense this defense is going to be very very effective so I'm talking about people who are in uh, like heavy Panther and they want to run with their quarterback every time or if they're in Wildcat trips over any of those types of offenses this defense is going to succeed against so to start we're going to go against Wildcat trips over power this is some people's entire offense uh, and if you don't know how to stop it it can really throw you for a loop so 3-4 odd pinch dog to press this is how to stop any quarterback runs. So I'm sure you guys have all seen this online where they, they come out in Wildcat and they literally just run this power play over and over again to the right. And if they have human joystick, it, it is really difficult to stop. The blocking is great. You're going to see on my first play, I took this for a touchdown. All right, great. Now, let me show you how to stop it, okay? Because if you get in this defense and you learn how to stop the Wildcat, these people are absolutely boxed and don't know what to do. So like I said, we are in pinch dog to press, okay? So this is what it com looks like when you, uh, when you come out in your defense. The adjustments are as follows. Base align, press, okay? So base align is triangle, left stick to the right, press, and then you're going to QB spy both of your safeties, all right? So that's what it's going to look like. The reason for this is QB spies play exceptionally in the run game. And then you're going to take this outside linebacker, you're going to move him off five yards and out two yards, okay? So he's going to get like right there, all right? And you're going to do this to the side of the field. So usually when people run Wildcat, the side with the extra tight end, if you look at on offense, we got 88 right here, uh, Godart. I think that's how you say his fucking name. Uh, on that side, that's the side linebacker you are going to want to uh, spread out. And then if you have time on defense, you can do the same thing to the other linebacker just in case they run to the other side. Now, then you're going to user the backside safety. When I say backside safety, I mean, again, the side away from 88 Godart. All right, I don't know how to fucking say his name, okay? All right, and now you're going to watch how these guys absolutely blow up the run now. When he calls the play, there's, there's no holes. Everything is going to be completely locked up. And if you have two... Uh, safeties with enforcer there's absolutely no chance of big plays happening here so to go over this defense one more time again this is for any QB running offense you are going to come out in pinch dog to press that's what it looks like base align press QB spy the safeties and move the field side linebacker or actually you could do both linebackers out like that and this is what the defense looks like when they motion the guy over you can see pretty much Everything is boxed. Now, the last tip on this defense before we move on is how to play with your user. You are cleanup. You are not going to hit them in the backfield. When you over pursue and try to hit them in the backfield, that's when big lanes open up and they can take it for 80 yard touchdowns. Okay. So you are cleanup. You're going to stay five to 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage and kind of wait to see if he gets through. And then if he gets through, then you go make the tackle. Okay. You are not going to over pursue. That is where you make mistakes. Okay. So look at how I'm playing right here, guys. We start back here and we're going to stay between five to 10 yards behind off the line of scrimmage let the computers do the work and then see where you need to clean up after that so the next thing we're gonna be looking at is how to stop near close flex once again it's gonna be the same pinch dog to play out of three four odd so a lot of people are running near close flex lately so we're gonna call near close flex and uh, just call like PA read now we'll, we'll call the smash play and then on defense again three four odd 
Pinch dog to press is again the play that I'm going to come out in. So this is a formation that has gotten really popular lately and you're going to see it a lot online, especially in weekend league. So the reason this formation can be so frustrating is because the blocking is pretty good and because this fullback Henry is flexed out to the right, it's very easy to chop the outside rusher and then roll out to the right or if you want to flip the play, roll out to the left. Additionally, there's this fullback dive play which if you just run it up the middle, um, it's good for a few solid five, six, seven yards. Sometimes you can bust like 80 yard touchdowns out of that too. And so it's just overall a very frustrating formation to stop. So I'm going to give you guys a defense that will hopefully absolutely bag this formation. So the bag for this near close flex is as follows. First things first, you want to take away the fullback dive every time. So to do that, L1 down on the left stick is going to pinch your entire defense. Okay. So your entire defense is going to pinch down close to the line. Get all pressed, all close to the middle. And now, if you watch, anytime they try to run this fullback dive, it's going to be pretty stuffed, all right? It's going to be really tough to get yards. They're going to hit get hit at the line of scrimmage almost every single time uh, just from that one small adjustment. So on that adjustment alone, we just pretty much took away the fullback dive. So L1, down on the left stick, pinch your defense. That is the first adjustment. Then from there, it's going to be a combination of adjustments you want to make on the back end and user rushing the quarterback, okay? So what I like to do is QB contain and then put my outside corners on flats in, or uh, cloud flats instead of soft squats. Uh, I feel like cloud flats are going to play what I want a little bit better. And then what I like to do is usually I'll man up, and it depends on the tendencies of the person I'm playing, I'll usually man up my corner, my outside left corner on the tight end. Uh, this is because a lot of times people are going to put that tight end on a delay fade, and if you man him up, that's going to take away the delay fade. Additionally, if they straight up block that tight end instead of putting him on a delay fade, then that cornerback is going to rush the quarterback, and that's going to give you an extra rusher in the pass game, okay? We don't want a cloud flat on the left covering grass, so because of that, I'm going to man him straight up on that tight end. Now, the final and most important thing to bagging this offense is stopping the rollout, and the way to do that most effectively, in my opinion, is with a user rush. So as I said earlier, the reason this formation is so good is because this halfback, Derrick Henry right here, is flexed out to the right. That enables the quarterback to easily chop and roll out to the right. So let's take a look at an example of that. So first things first, we're going to block uh, Derrick Henry. Then if we double team the end and then ID the mic on the outside linebacker, watch this chop block Derrick Henry gets. And then that rollout is easy. Corner routes for days. Now, how do we stop that? User rush. Let me show you. So on offense, if I double team the end, ID the mic, block my guys, I'm looking to roll out to the right. On defense, if I see my outside linebacker get chopped by the running back, watch, watch how I'm going to play this. If I hike the ball... He got chopped. I'm coming right off the end. There's no way he can roll out there, okay? Now, obviously, it's, I can't do both. I can't roll out and use a rush, so it's really difficult for me to show you that, but it's going to cause you to probably the first time they try to roll out, they're immediately going to start sprinting to the right. You're going to connect with them. You're going to get a six, seven-yard sack. They might try it again a little bit later, another sack, but what's going to end up happening is they're going to stop rolling out, okay? They're going to stop trying to roll out because they realize you're going to sack them every time. And then they're going to have to sit in the pocket, and then their corner routes are not going to get behind clouds as easily. A lot a lot of the routes they're relying on from this rollout are not going to be there. Because this offense is not very good if they're just having to sit in the pocket every time. I promise you guys, without rollouts, this offense is not very good. So again, once they stop chopping and rolling out, what you can do is if they chop, you can kind of hesitate over here. If they don't roll out, then you don't go, and then you just you get back to usering. And wait for your pressure to come in. And uh, so that's basically the bag for near close flex. If you guys have any questions, again, stop by the live stream, ask me questions uh, right after this video is posted. Now, the next thing we're going to go over, which is probably my favorite time to use 3 4 odd, is against any shotgun compressed set. So this is a formation like gun bunch, a formation like gun tight offset tight end. Some of the most prominent passing formations in Madden right now, I think, get absolutely bagged by 3 4 odd. So the play I'm coming out in is cover four drop show two. And like I said, this is probably my favorite play in all of Madden ever. And it's going to work really great against any compressed shotgun set. So I'm talking gun split close, tight offset, tight end. I'm showing you right here against gun bunch. This is the same setup. It's going to be universal for all of them. So first things first, you're going to want to use her the weak side safety. So if we're looking, the bunch is on the right. The tight end is on the right. I want to use her, I want to use her the left side safety. So let's go over Let's get into the uh, adjustments. The first adjustment, once again, is going to be to pinch your entire team. So that's L1 down on the left stick. That is going to bring everybody down, press your corners, bring your line in, bring your linebackers in, all that good stuff, okay? Then I'm going to spread my D-line, okay? That's going to be left on the, on the D-pad, up on the left stick. That's going to spread your D-line. And then you're going to blitz all linebackers. 
So just like that, you are now blitzing seven, and then QB contain after that. If you see your left QB contain is a little messed up, just move this guy out a little bit, and that will put him in a contain as well. So that is what the defense base looks like. It's a very good defense. You're blitzing seven. Blitzing seven isn't that great, though. So what you want to do is bring this guy right here, put him on a QB spy, and then when he hikes the ball, right when he hikes the ball, you engage that uh, offensive guard. So watch. You engage him. I didn't do a good job of it there. So I didn't do a good job of showing that. I didn't even block anybody on offense. So let me go over the adjustments again. Pinch your entire team. Spread the D-line. Blitz linebackers. QB contain. Check to make sure the contain angles are good. Usually you're going to move that guy out a little bit. And then you're going to come down with your user. I would say actually put him in a blitzing angle rather than a QB spy. It'll be easier right off the snap to engage and then disengage to go user. But basically what you're doing is you're, you're, you're glitching the line into thinking you're sending eight because you're engaging one of the tackles. Because of this on offense, they're going to have to block eight unless they want a free rusher coming in. So uh, other than that on defense, it's going to be the adjustments you make behind it. I'll show you guys my favorite adjustments behind this blitz right here. So on offense, we're going to block seven. And then on defense, what I like to do is I like to put my outside corners in soft squats. And then I like to put my inside safety on uh, inside third. And if, you're, if your safety has zoned out or universal coverage, I'm talking about this safety right here, they are going to play like an animal over the middle. They're going to cover almost anything uh, that's a quick throw, okay? Now, obviously, if, you're, if your opponent gets a lot of time, then you're going to have to figure it out. But if you look at this defense right here, it's very aggressive, okay? The, the left side... Uh, corner that's isolated out there on the single receiver side. He's gonna switch into man coverage usually because that soft squat is gonna is gonna match in man coverage. And then on the right side, they're gonna have to find a way to hit deep right down the field very quickly because this blitz is gonna get in there. So again, uh, if we look at if we look at the offense, let's say this is the play they're running right here. Okay, this is very standard play. Now, do you think that corner out by Brown is gonna get open in time? I really doubt it. If we hike the ball. Engage, then user the middle of the field. You see, we get the sack. They don't really have time to do anything. Now, is this a cheesy, glitchy way to play? Yes, it fucking is. And a good opponent is probably going to make you pay for it. So, again, you're going to want to make sure you are adjusting behind this defense. Pinch, spread, blitz. This is my base defense right here. It takes about five seconds to set up. Now, if they're really uh, mixing things up and starting to dot you, I would put that right side on an, on an outside third as opposed to a soft squat. That's a little bit safer. Safer. Now, if you say, oh, what if they just run quick routes? So, let's say they try to they try to route me this way. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, let's hike it. And if you click on, that's going to be a gain of two. Okay, so they threw it to the flat. The soft squad on the left is going to play it. If they throw the flat on the right. Let's show you that. Let me set up this defense again. Sorry. It's tough to do offense and defense. So, I'm going to set up this defense again. And let's say on offense, he's like, okay, he keeps blitzing me. Let me throw it quickly to my tight end. And you see, once again, literally a gain of zero. Okay, so even if they throw it to the flat, because you got guys out there with high zone coverage and stuff, they're going to react to those passes. And even if they're in a deep zone still. So let's show you the more conservative play call right here. We got the outside third on the right, inside third and the, from the safety, soft squad on the left, and then I'm usering down here. And so even with a deep zone, a deep zone on the right, watch how fast he plays his flat route. And if you click on... Sorry, that was bad right there. If you click on, he's getting five yards, okay? If you click on, he's going to get five yards. And I don't see anybody that's going to take their five yards all the way down the field. So the final thing I want to talk to you guys about this defense is what people are going to do when they're starting to pick up on what you're doing. So if people are picking up what you're doing, they're going to start just blocking eight. Now, this is where you have an advantage because if they motion this guy in, they block him. They're blocking eight. Now you have four guys in coverage. And there are two routes on the field, okay? You got four guys in coverage with two routes on the field. That is an advantage on your end, a very big advantage. Both of the guys can be double covered. Now, this defense is even better against tight offset tight end. The reason is tight offset cannot block eight. You already use one motion in order to block seven out of tight offset, okay? So if you're screaming like this at tight offset tight end, most of the time your opponents are going to be confuzzled thoroughly. So if you guys watch me play, you're going to see I run this defense all the time against passers. So get, to go over the adjustments one more time, you're going to pinch your entire team down, spread the D-line, blitz all linebackers, QB contain, move that guy out, saw squats on the outside, inside third on the other, and user the weak side safety, engage the guard, and user the middle of the field. See how fast I engaged and got off? 
Let's look at the replay really quick to show you guys. So this is a perfect example of what you want your engage to look like, okay? So right as he hiked the ball, I engaged that left guard. Then in a split second, I got off. And now with Lurker, because I told you guys to put Lurker on your safeties, the middle of the field is fucking mine. You are not going to throw anything over the middle because that's where you're, he's just going to have to guess and throw it really quick. And a lot of times that's going to result in a user lurk. So this overall, in my opinion, is probably the best defense you can play against any compressed set. Uh, it is cheesy. It is glitchy. If you're mad in the comment section, why are you looking up ebooks in the first place? Come on. But this is really going to shut down anybody who is not very proficient out of these formations. So if somebody's running gun bunch and they're not great at it, this is going to absolutely fuck them. Now the last couple plays I have in here are edge blitz and then cover three sky or cover three cloud. The only time I run these, if they get me in a defense that I'm not comfortable with, I'll usually just switch to a cover three or cover three cloud uh, and just run a play and then and then make my adjustments after that, okay? So that's the only reason I'm ever really going to call cover three is to just mix it up. Uh, I don't really run it that often. And then the final play I'm going to talk about is a, is a play I've already made a video on, and it's edge blitz. And edge blitz is a really good run D, so I'm going to call edge blitz, and then we're going to go against I form... Uh, Let's go against eye tight and just like stretch. Let's just see it against a stretch. I've already made an entire video on this. So again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just going to go over the adjustments for you guys. So the adjustments for this edge blitz run D are as follows. And this isn't even my favorite run D. So I don't run this that often either. This is just if, I, if I'm getting fucked in the run game and I don't know what to do, uh, this is what I will go to. So uh, pinch your D line, spread your linebackers, blitz all linebackers, QB contained press. Okay. That is what the run D looks like. And then from there behind it, you can make any adjustments you want. Something I might like to do is put my outside uh, corner in a, in a deep zone, uh, put the left corner in this zone, you know, just mess around with it. If we run stretch here, let's see, make sure we're running stretch. If we run stretch here, let's see how the run D looks on, uh, from that perspective, you see we're getting a linebacker in the backfield and we're blowing up that run. So sometimes edge blitz is going to be a really good run defense and uh, I really do like it. I've, I've used it for a long time. If you want more info on edge blitz, I've made an entire video on it on the channel. Go check the channel for uh, run defense and you'll find an in-depth breakdown of edge blitz one. So that is going to pretty much conclude how I run my 3-4 odd. If you guys have any questions, like I said, hop in the live stream. Feel free to ask me. I try to get to as many questions as I can and you're going to see me use the defense live so that can help as well to see an in-game situation. There are other adjustments and stuff I make uh, just based situationally kind of on the fly um, But those are my base setups again You guys run it with your own little twist on it uh, And depending on your opponent's tendencies and stuff like that Obviously you're gonna make the the uh, changes necessary But if you like the video and want me to go over part two, which is gonna be big dime one four six Please leave a like on this video. It does help me out a lot Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will hopefully see you in uh, my twitch chat right after this <laughs>